Welcome to the podcast webcast, guys. Uh, I'm back up here in Wyoming for another late night backpack trip. It's about three in the morning now, maybe three thirty. I'm just headed up into some high country. I've been up this trail once before, a couple years ago. I come in here uh, looking. Anyway, I'm going in here. I've got a couple hours or so, two and a half hours before light, and hopefully I see something. Give it another shot. This will probably be, uh, possibly, my last scouting trip to a new area this year. Um, most likely, if I don't find something here, I'll be going back to where I seen the drop tine buck and and just plan on hunting him. So he's the best one so far. But we'll go up here and maybe we'll get lucky and turn up a beast. Keep thinking, one of these times. There will be a, a 220 buck. I know there's one up in this country somewhere, but probably only one, you know. A lot of square miles for a big buck to be in, and trying to find one is, you know, the one, or maybe there might be two or three in, you know, all these thousands of square miles. But anyway, so let's get after it. All right, that does it for this uh, podcast, webcast. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at uh, at those two big old bucks. Uh, I didn't see as many bucks on this trip as I have on some of the, my others, but I did see two of the best of the year. In fact, possibly the two best. I don't know about the one, uh, the one that has the really good uh, frame. He might be, he's probably about the same as the one with the drop tine. Um, so anyway, but the, the one with the cheaters off both sides, the three cheaters off both sides, that's the buck I'll be trying to get. So, that's it.